Real quick, I want to talk to you about some of the stories we cover. And these are not Republican or Democrat stories. These are American stories. Coach Joe Kennedy grew up in a bad home, went to foster care, went to the Marine Corps, and wow, they got him fixed up pretty quick. Well, he came to know the Lord. He wanted to coach football, so he found himself in Bremerton, Washington. He saw a movie called Facing the Giants, a faith-based movie. And in that movie, he was inspired at the end of every game to go to the 50-yard line to take a knee to pray. He's been doing that for eight years. School district, a couple of years ago, came to him and said, Coach Joe, you can't do that anymore. It's against the law to take a knee to pray. He said, well, this is what I'm called to do, and I'm going to do it. So he went out there in defiance of the school district, and he, he took a knee, and he prayed, and he was subsequently fired. And his case is currently being argued in the courts. It's interesting. You can take a knee to protest the national anthem in America, but you can't take a knee to pray. Right. Something's, something's not right there. Something's not right. Yeah. We were, had the honor of meeting a gentleman, the commander from the American Legion here uh, tonight. They're fighting a, a court case at the Supreme Court. There's a war memorial 40 feet tall in Prince George's County, Maryland. It's been there since World War I. Mothers spent their pennies and quarters and nickels to build this beautiful memorial to the war dead. Atheists and secularists say that monument has to come down. That court case is being heard by the Supreme Court. And we're about to find out. And if they lose every memorial cross in every public cemetery in the nation will have to be torn down. This is what we're dealing with in America. And the list goes on and on and on. You see, our values are under attack. And why is that? Well, I contend that we have become unmoored. You see, we're a nation founded on Judeo-Christian values. Any other religious value, it doesn't work. But it works under Judeo-Christian values. You see, under Judeo-Christian values, people can come here. They can worship God. They don't have to worship God. They can be a Muslim or a Buddhist. They can be whatever they want to be. Under our unique God-ordained system of government. And I just think that's pretty cool. You know, Ronald Reagan said, freedom is just one generation away from extinction. And I think we've come pretty close. But for some reason, God keeps pulling us back. Pulling us back from the cliff. And I believe the reason why is because of folks like you in this room. Patriots. People who want to set aside their political differences and work together for the common good. You see, tonight in this room, I've been told that there are Republicans and Democrats. There are liberals and conservatives and moderates. But you're all here giving your dollars, giving your support to worthy causes. And that's what makes America great. 